Matters of Minnesota's The Inside Scoop with your advocacy team, Toby Pearson, Aaron Bowie, and Todd Bergstrom. This week's host, Toby Pearson. Welcome to today's Inside Scoop. Today is Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. So, what happened this week at the Capitol? Well, lots of exciting things happened this week at the Capitol. For me, some of you may not think they're quite as exciting, but I'm going to tell you about them anyway. So, first, uh, on the House side. The omnibus bill, which contains supplemental spending uh, for this year, which includes the abuse and neglect language, passed off the House floor, which is good for us because the language is good language. What they will do now is they will combine all of their supplemental bills into one omnibus supplemental spending bill, uh, and then they will start to negotiate with the Senate on all of the topics that are included. In supplemental bill years, that means they have all the topics in one big bill. So you have transportation, government, uh, health and human services, all into one big bill, which makes for fun, long, and interesting conference committee days. Uh, our message right now on the House is that the House language, is, language does address three key components, which are transparency, prevention, and accountability. So the House language in the omnibus bill, we think, is pretty good language and moves us in the right direction to address abuse and neglect among seniors. What happened in the Senate this week? Well, the Senate was a little bit of a different story. So the Senate has sent their omnibus bill separately and does not include the abuse and neglect language that's in the Housley bill. The Housley bill is traveling by itself. That bill had a hearing in the Finance Committee, which is the committee where they basically dot the I's and cross the T's and make sure all the money lines up. And unfortunately, they received a fiscal note that was not what they anticipated about five minutes before the hearing. So as a result, they had a short informational hearing on it and they had to lay it on the table because there are big fiscal implications for the language that's currently in the Housley bill. So what does that mean? That means it has to be negotiated and discussed until they can figure out how to make it fit the finance targets that they have for respective bills. So the bill, the Housley language bill, uh, which we think still has problems, and you can read the action article that I wrote yesterday about what those problems are, uh, sits on the table in the finance committee, which is chaired by Julie Rosen, uh, until they take it off and pass it at which time they will then decide what to do as it moves to the floor uh, and would be subject to a floor vote. So procedurally they still have a few things to work out on the Senate side to get their language into conference. So what happens? We expect conference committee on the omnibus supplemental bill to be named next week where you will have five people from the House and five people from the Senate sit down and start discussing their compromise. Now remember, in order for this to actually get passed and then signed, you have to have the governor sign it. So you have to have the exact same language pass the House and the Senate and get signed by the governor. So there will be a lot of wailing and gnashing of teeth in the next couple weeks as they negotiate those omnibus bills. Currently, the House has indicated they intend to keep the abuse and neglect prevention language in the omnibus supplemental discussion. The Senate will have to determine what they want to do with the abuse and neglect omnibus or solo. Uh, we stand by to find out what's happening there. There's lots left to be ironed out. These are not the only bills that have to be discussed. They still have to also discuss and iron out the differences in taxes uh, if they're going to do a bonding bill. Uh, as well as these omnibus bills, all of which are going to be the package of discussions between the House, the Senate, and the Governor. So this is when we really start to make sausage at the Capitol and when things start to take long days with floor sessions and conference committee as we careen towards the end, which should be May 21st. 
So for now, that's the update, and we will provide you more updates via action articles as well as inside scoop again next week. So thanks for watching, and may the fourth be with you.